serious. Alright, we're gonna re do a review of uh, the Joker from Hot Toys, the Dark Knight version. Uh, as you can see, we're gonna start off with a box, um, pretty standard of Hot Toys. It has the outer slip, and uh, this is the back uh, of the box. You can see it has different poses of the Joker. Uh, the bottom part earlier, that was um, his accessories that comes along with the figure. It has several accessories, so it's, it's not, uh, you know, you get some, some accessories out there. Um, this is the side of the box, some headshot of the Joker holding a Joker card, and also some description. Uh, it says Collector's Edition uh, Movie Master P68 the Joker. You know, pretty cool pictures. Um, you can see here the, the outer shell has a little texture on it and once you take it off this is the actual box so you can see some cool headshot of joker he's looking at you like he's smiling pretty creepy and on the side you can see the dark knight logo it says collector's edition it has some pretty cool pinstripe on it you just can't see it um and as you can see here, yeah, pretty pretty amazing picture right there. Good headshot. Just right for passport. And once you open it up, you can see you know, him from the inside. Uh, it's it's not a this is not a new figure. Uh, I already opened this. I just put him right back in the box. As you can see, it, it's not too organized. Uh, just for this video purposes. And inside flap, you can see the Joker um, has some text on it, some description on who the Joker is. Um, and this is a picture of the, I guess the figure. Once you uh, do a good pose on him, you know, as you can see the accessories. Some of them are upside down. Like I said, you know, it's it's not new. All right, the Dark Knight logo, and it does come with some accessories on it. We'll start off with the stand. Nameplate the Joker. Uh, if you turn it around, I mean, tilt it upwards, you're gonna see the Dark Knight logo on the stand. It comes with extra pair of hands uh, for holding the, the Joker dollar bills and the Joker cards. As you can see, you can't focus it here because it's it's too small. This this items are too damn small, but the the details are just amazing on how how detailed it is on how small the item is. And also, this knife is retractable, so you can it goes up and down and. Finally, I did get a good shot of the, the dollar bills, so you can see here in the, in the cards. Uh, like I said, it's it's just amazing how the details on, on these guys are. Uh, Joker, it's it's all Joker, it's, it's not a full set of cards, it's just a bunch of cards, but I don't really know how, how many cards are included, I didn't count, and the dollar bills, there's a, there's a bunch of them. And um, now we're gonna take a look at the figure itself. The Joker figure, uh, you can see it has the, the traditional purple coat that he has and the pinstripe pants the, the details on the coat and you can see the, you know, the fabric it's it's just amazing the good thing about this figure is that he comes along with four layers of clothing so you can play around with it you know if one day you don't feel like him making you know wearing a coat you can do this uh, you can do so one day you can take it off yep and now you're taking a look at the his his face the actual head sculpt is pretty good as well it's not focusing too well because of his face is white and i should have chosen a different background for this guy because i kind of knew i'm going to run into that problems now i'm just focusing on the details on his coat you can see some little buttons in there um the coat doesn't actually uh, closes on and off but it's just i guess for detail purposes and uh, the details on his shoe is pretty amazing as well. It looks like an old leatherish, uh, but it's not. It's it's just plastic. They just did a tremendous job on making it look like old leather shoe. Pinstripe is dead on. It has uh, the difference between this and the DX version. He has a knife on his shoe. This one does not come along with it. Here, yep, that is his headshot. Pretty, uh, pretty mean looking Joker. Now, a lot of people are saying he does not look like Heath Ledger from the movie. 
Well, now that we've seen the DX11 version, we can easily say that. But when this guy first came out, uh, that wasn't the case, especially on right angles. Like this one, kinda looks like Heath Ledger, maybe not so much. But like I said, it's it's not bad. It's not Superman Returns bad. Yeah, I mean, I can live with it because I mean the 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 look on this guy's face is just amazing. There's so many, so much details. Uh, as you can see, the worn-out you know, face paint, uh, the, the scars on his face, the red lipstick. Uh, it's it's just great. You know? I mean, if you can, I guess if you want a, a a better head sculpt, you can always buy one on eBay. It goes around for thirty dollars. You can pop the head off, just put it in. I believe that's the the, the biggest difference between the DX version and this version. I mean, obviously, if, except for accessories that comes along with it but it's up to you to decide which one i mean this guy comes in half the price of the x so yeah if you don't like if you want to save a little money you know you don't want to have the bells and whistles of you know some guns and it comes along with a table if you don't need all those which in my case i don't i i can live with this head sculpt and if i get tired of it you know i'll probably buy something on ebay popping on his head because the body and and the, the, the outfit is pretty much the same to me and here you go as you can see i i took off the the purple jacket now you you're seeing him with the, the gray sports jacket kind of thing uh, so yeah you, you can play around with it you know if you he still looks good without the, the purple uh purple coat so you can see him i put the hand this is the hand that comes along with the joker um, it's supposed to, it doesn't come with fist hands, so there's two pairs of hands extra. Um, this one is the one that holds the knife. And yeah, you can see it's, it's, um, uh, you can do a bunch of poses with him. Some mean poses. I, I like the look on this Joker though, because it looks like he has this, this dark smile on him. He looks like he's looking down, but it, his eyes are looking towards you. Um, I don't know. I like I like his uh, his facial expression in this one. It looks pretty pretty uh, insane. You know, pretty pretty deceiving, as you would say. Yep. And this out of all those uh, outfits, I guess this is my favorite one because uh, once you take off the the gray uh, sports jacket, this is the outfit that he wore when he was in in the, in the prison when he was being interrogated by uh, by Batman. And that's pretty. Uh, that's a pretty iconic scene to me. That's why I kind of like him looking like this. And um, also because of the fact that if he wears all those jackets, he looks a lot bigger. You know, on this one he looks slimmer. Now I'm just focusing on the belt that comes along with it. Look at the details on this guy. I I, I don't know if it's really leather because I you can take it out and even the chains itself you you could take out. He has a tie that. Like I said, you can take out as well. You can, that's not, you know, it looks like a button, but it doesn't really close out the, the, the neck part. But you can see the details. His uh, his vest, his green vest, you can open it up, you can close it up by Velcro, not by real buttons, but it still comes along with buttons. Um, you see the pinstripe on his pants. I, I would say the details on this guy is just amazing. It's just dead on from the movie. Even the pattern, because uh, while I'm doing this, I watched the movie first. I have it in Blu-ray, and it's it's just dead on the pattern on his shirt. Um, pretty amazing. Um, even on the backside, you can roll it up so it's, it's, you know, a part of his arm is, is coming out. And that's it. That's basically it. This is a review for Joker MMS 68. Hope you liked it. Um, and you know, till next time. It looks pretty creepy on this one.